Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you, I think I've got six fragrances for summer that I think are just a cut above the rest. So they're just spectacular masterpiece type fragrances. I can't wait to share them with you. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community and let's get into this. So the first fragrance that I want to talk about today is called Oud Rain by Renier Perfumes. Now, I don't think I've ever mentioned, I know I haven't mentioned this fragrance before. Is Far is a delicious mango tropical oud fragrance. This is phenomenal. It's reminiscent to something like an Ajayeb portrait where you've got the mango tropical sweetness, but you also have this paired oud woodiness uh, or woody vibe that's in the fragrance. That is this. So the cool thing about pairing something super fruity, juicy, fun with an oud or with a wood is you create something a lot more sensual, a lot more grown up, a lot more kind of almost sophisticated and classy whereas if you leave those bottom notes out the fragrance is still fine but it's going to be a lot more kind of juvenile uh, happy you think candy-esque you think flirty whereas this is definitely more sexy sophisticated I'm going to read you the notes on this one to me they just sound so freaking scrumptious so you start off with mango papaya pineapple tangerine cypress and plum amazing then you get oud saffron nutmeg and sandalwood in the middle and the base is oud animal notes cedar and labdanum this is definitely a very sexy sensual fragrance definitely unisex but it's absolutely beautiful like it's one of my favorite fragrances uh, this one and one other that i'm going to talk about from reniere are must-haves in my collection. I, I want them big time. There's something so sophisticated and natural smelling about them. So they smell kind of natural, like something you'd be smelling just wherever. They're potent. They're very understatedly elegant somehow. So even though this has oud, it's not a bam in your face type potent fragrance. Off the bat, it automatically like so first spray it smells classy and sophisticated you get lots of that mango and then as it dries down it gets a little bit more of that woodiness but i don't really ever lose that mango feel or that tropical vibe so this is a very very classy sophisticated tropical fragrance now i don't think that ajayeb portrait smells like this but it's it would be in the same family as far as fragrance profiles are concerned so you've got to like that wood that oud uh in this to enjoy this but i just think that this is so extremely sophisticated so where edge ayeb comes a little bit harsher in the opening this there's no harsh edges on this it's very smooth it's very composed it smells like a very well-rounded composition where I'm not getting too much of one note or too much of the other. It's just beautifully blended. So I absolutely love this one. So, so like all of these fragrances to me, they fit in that classy, sophisticated and unique uh, type of category. So even though this one, I'd put it in the same family to me, it doesn't smell like a Jayab portrait. It just is in that same family, family to kind of give you a reference point, if you know what I mean. But I absolutely, I, I just think that this is spectacular. Total, total masterpiece. Oud Rain. Next fragrance that I think is just a cut above everything. Okay, I'm just going to stop here for a second and say Mallow would be included, but I talk about Mallow all the time, so I thought I'd give it a break. But it fits in this category, and it's actually killing me not to mention it because it smells so freaking fantastic to me. It's a cut above all the fragrances that are in that same category. They just smell richer, bougier, sophisticated, like more sensual. If you have a sensual fragrance, this is more sensual. If you have a flirty fragrance, this is more flirt flirty. Like it's that kind of fragrance. So another one that to me totally fits that category. Mellow fits it, but I'm not going to talk about her because I've talked about her way too often. 
is Love at First Sight by Unui Nomad. If you like lilac, this is absolutely beautiful. There's a bit of green in it. You get some lilac. I think there's ambroxan in here. There's also passion fruit. So it's perfect for summer. You can put this on in hot weather and it's not going to feel too thick or cloying. Sometimes, um, sometimes with florals, it can get a little bit much. Not with this one. It smells so just a beautiful, it's it's light, kind of airy. It feels delicate, almost like lace somehow, like a lacy perfume. And that's what I find with Inui fragrances in general. Somehow there's just space in them. They never t feel too thick, even if they're super potent. I find this is amazing longevity, like a good seven, eight hours, beautiful projection, but never too much. It always stays super elegant super like just kind of composed like imagine a woman she's wearing a dress that's kind of this color but it's very tailored like almost a pencil skirt uh beautiful kind of blouse on has a clutch purse maybe she's wearing some pearls very very sophisticated and elegant that's what this one is with a touch of whimsy because you got to have a touch of whimsy. So the whimsy comes in that passion fruit and also the little bit of green that kind of is just on the air with this one. So I think it's beautiful. You definitely get the lilac. You definitely get the passion fruit. The two main notes are that passion fruit and lilac. This has other notes. Like I think there's a casea in it and ambroxan, but what I get is the lilac and the passion fruit. And they're just they're just perfection. As far as this fragrance is concerned, I just think it's beautiful. I think it's sophisticated and classy, very elegant, but with a hint of whimsy with that passion fruit and just a touch of green. I think it's one of the most beautiful purple floral fragrances that I have ever smelt. Not that I've smelt tons, but I find purple florals a lot of times to be kind of a little bit powdery they tend to be a little bit sweeter and they're not for everybody but this one is absolutely gorgeous like i just think that this is one of the most stunning fragrances that i have ever smelled like it's it's so beautiful now for my middle eastern fans the fragrance that I, like instantly when i thought about a cut above the rest the fragrance that came to mind was Barricat Gentle Gold by Maison Fragrance World. Of course, I want to mention the fact that this is inspired by Maison Francis Kirkshan. He's the originator of this scent profile, and it's absolutely spectacular. So I'm so, uh, so impressed and awed by his artistry. So this is just an inspired version, but I have smelt quite a few inspired versions. So someone was asking me recently, I've smelt Juliana's, I've got Orientica's, and then I have this one. And to me, this one is way better than all the rest. I'm not quite sure why. I think it's closest to the original in my opinion, but I just think it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous balsamic vinegar, or vinegar. <laughs> it's a gorgeous balsamic I guess balsamic and vinegar go together, don't they? Balsamic vanilla. So this has juniper, nutmeg, uh, coriander in it. So some of those kind of a uh, little bit more balsamic notes. I love the smell of juniper. So this is no exception. There's amber in here, the vanilla. It smells kind of thick, but somehow it doesn't feel too thick on the skin. This is such a sexy fragrance that you can wear all day, all night. To me, this is year round worthy. Actually, all of these, you can wear them year round. Some I pr appreciate more in the summer, but all of them are definitely year round worthy. This is uh, a, a very expensive smelling fragrance but essentially it's just a little bit of a balsamic vanilla. That's the best way to describe it. I think it's super luxurious smelling. It smells uber boozy and luxe. I love this fragrance. The longevity is excellent on it. Like I get six, seven hours out of this, maybe longer, and the projection is beautiful. This is definitely a compliment getter as well. So love it. I think the price on this one is around $50. So super reasonable. I also have people all the time asking me where the best place to get Middle Eastern fragrances in the States because you guys are having a harder time than we are in Canada. Usually it's the other way around. 
TripleTraders.com is a great US site that you can get Middle Eastern fragrances from, but also I believe Perfume Online, where I get a lot of my Middle Eastern fragrances, also they deliver to, to the States. So there may be a bit of a shipping thing, but I think it works similar to Fragnet for us. So FragranceNet, we have to, it's a little bit higher because we have to pay for the shipping and whatnot but it still ends up being a better deal sometimes to go through FragranceNet. Same thing with Perfume Online. Sometimes that's gonna be better than the prices that you'll see at some place like Triple Traders. Also, Perfume.com sometimes has fragrances and they're, I believe, US as well. So for Middle Eastern, those are the places I check. And I usually have all of them linked down below if you're ever interested. Now, another fragrance that is just an absolute cut above the rest is Habibi by, by Bozo. This one, I just can't get enough of it. It's definitely in my top 10 for sure. I need to do a new top 10 for life because it's changed so much. This is a cherry centric fragrance. There's almond in here, but there's also this green note that keeps this feeling almost dewy. So it's green, it's like you're smelling green. It's mixed with the cherry and the almond. So it keeps this feeling fresh. But again, it's super elegant and sophisticated. To me, this one has an almost cooling effect. Sometimes I find things like cherry and almond to be something that I would want to wear in the fall and the winter. This is a warm weather cherry version. So you still get that gourmand sense of the almond and the cherry. But paired with that green, it's just absolutely beautiful. So sophisticated, so elegant, somehow cooling and definitely a cut above the rest. The next fragrance that is just leagues above everything else is Delirious by Renier Perfumes again. Like seriously, I love this house. It's a new discovery for me, thanks to my good friend Hesse, who has an amazing Instagram channel. It's just growing in leaps and bounds. So definitely check her out. I love her content. I love, it always looks so beautiful. And then, uh, yeah, she has such a gorgeous collection. So definitely check her out. But Delirious has green leaves, honeysuckle, magnolia, and grapefruit in the opening. In the heart is guava, white ginger lily, soursop, geosmin, ginger, white pepper, and cardamom. And the base is mahogany, white musk, amber, guyac wood, cedar, and Haitian vetiver. When Val smelt this, she said, it smells like petrichor. And that is an excellent way to describe it. So you know how the earth smells after an amazing rain. So it's been warm outside. All of a sudden this beautiful rain happens and you go outside and it's right after the rain. So it's a little bit cooler. You smell the earth and just the smells that you get. So it's like the flowers give off this beautiful kind of scent. The earth gives off a scent. The greenness comes through. That's what this fragrance kind of reminds me of. Like it, it just smells so fresh, but it doesn't smell like a freshy. So it smells like that humid air right after the rain. So it's the most beautifully blended fragrance I think I've ever smelled. It's another fragrance I would consider a total masterpiece. Like honestly, I don't know of another fragrance that is as gorgeous as it is. So I absolutely love it. And that's like, it smells elegant, sophisticated. It lasts a decent amount of time on the skin. It's not too sweet. It's not too fresh. It's not too green. It's just perfection. So seriously, it is so gorgeous. It's It wowed me from the get-go and has continued to wow me. It's one of the fragrances that I am dying to get. And honestly, if I had it in my collection, it would be one of the only ones I would need because it's that beautiful. Again, classy, sophisticated, elegant, just leagues above everything else, especially if you want something a little bit more unique and different. All of these fragrances fit that category. So the last fragrance is Sunshine Woman by Amouage or Sunshine. There's a male version as well. First of all, I love this bottle. I just think it's so gorgeous. It's a work of art. The fragrance inside is such a gorgeous, again, it's an almond centric fragrance. There is some osmanthus in here. So it gives it a bit of a peachy vibe as well. This fragrance has some white tobacco in here. There's also a bit of black currant in here. What I get is a warm kind of almondy, soft, 
powdery floral uh, with a little bit of an apricot feel and a, a hint of balsamic. This is a beast mode fragrance, so it will last for a good 10, 12 hours. It projects beautifully. I find that this one morphs, so at first you get a lot of that almond. As it dries down on the skin, it gets a little bit warmer, a little bit more vanillic. I find that this one feels humid, so to me it feels like a humid dock somehow. I think it's because of the almond and a little bit of that balsam. It smells like hot wood in a way. So you know how hot wood, like if you if you go out onto a dock, kind of a fresh dock, and it's super hot and super humid out, you're gonna get the smell of kind of that fresh wood, and it's a little bit sweet smelling. That's kind of the vibe that I get from here, but I wouldn't consider this woody. So I find that that smell isn't really a wood smell as much as it is an, a more almond, vanilla, sweet, uh, soft smell, if that makes sense. So I really enjoy this one. It is so very unique. And that's one of the things that I love about Amouage fragrances is that they are very unique. They're definitely polarizing. This is definitely one that I don't think is mass appealing, so it's not buy and buy safe at all, but it is such a gorgeous fragrance. The longevity alone makes this definitely worth the coin in my opinion. So I absolutely love it. The bottle to me is a work of art with all the sparkles in the yellow glass. I just think it's spectacular. The other thing that's really neat about this one is although it works really well in the warm weather, it works equally as well in the the cooler weather. The only thing about this is that because I think about this in the warm weather, I don't tend to gravitate towards it in the cooler weather, but especially for autumn, this is an absolute beautiful fragrance. So I love this one. What about you? What are the fragrances that you just think are a cut above the rest? You absolutely love them. They smell sophisticated. They smell a little bit more elegant than anything else you have in your collection. They're a little bit more kind of well-rounded and uh, just perfection leave it in the comments. And if you have tried any of these fragrances, in particular, the Renier perfumes, uh, where they're not as well known, if you've smelled them, please weigh in and let others know what you think of them. I just think these are all gorgeous, uh, beautiful fragrances. There are fragrances that do smell similar to some of these, but they just don't quite hit the mark. They're not quite as amazing. They're not quite as well blended. They're not quite as bougie smelling. So these are all fantastic. What about you? What are your faves? Let me know. And other than that, have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.